Hey everyone and welcome to Boston Auto Blog. Today I'm going to take a look at the 2018 Chevrolet Bolt Premier. But first, I'd like to thank Muzzy Chevrolet in Needham, Massachusetts for allowing me to do this review. And so, without wasting any further time, let's get right into it. In the last few years, electric cars have slowly made significant gains in the automotive industry, as 2018 has already seen a 59% increase in global sales for electric vehicles. The Chevrolet Bolt is becoming a very popular car for consumers because of the affordability, practicality, and range. Up to this point, the greatest obstacle electric cars have had to face is range anxiety and price, as many people who are in the market for an electric vehicle have very few options to choose from. The 2018 Chevrolet Bolt just might be changing that, as it's becoming an alternative to the Toyota Prius. The Bolt will get close to 238 miles per charge, and just because it's an electric car doesn't mean it's lacking in power either. 200 horsepower and 266 pound-feet of torque will get the Bolt from 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds, which is rather impressive as that's quicker than some gas-powered compact vehicles. While filming, I took the Chevy Bolt on a test drive to get a feel for the vehicle. After about 10 minutes behind the wheel, I believe it's a great option for a person looking for an overall practical vehicle for the daily commute. A 128 mile per range in the city is more than enough to get you around town, and with a 110 mile range on the highway, there's no need for range anxiety. For pricing, the Chevrolet Bolt will start around $37,500. But with the Premier trim, which is what we're taking a look at today, has a base price of around $42,000. This will add 17-inch aluminum wheels, side mirror indicators, and roof rails for aesthetic upgrades. And there'll be additional technology features that we'll take a look at when we check out the interior. Before taking a look inside, what really makes the Bolt a viable option for consumers who are on the fence of whether to purchase an electric car or not is the fact that it looks like a normal hatchback. Many people have often criticized the appearance of electric and hybrid cars, but the Bolt is reminiscent to the Honda Fit in terms of dimensions and even looks and styling. There's not many design cues that makes you think it's different than the average hatchback. And while some might think that's a knock on the Bolt, I'd argue that that's a compliment and one of the reasons why sales are increasing. Once you check out the interior, that's when eyebrows are raised. Inside, you're greeted by heated leather seats for both the driver and passenger. In front of you is an 8-inch digital instrument panel, which really adds to the futuristic feel once you get behind the wheel. This screen will show how much battery life is left, the tire pressure, and you'll get a digital speedometer. From here, you can also change the radio station by using the buttons mounted on the steering wheel. You'll get OnStar navigation, and you can also change the layout of the digital information display. Moving over to the 10-inch touchscreen, the most notable features are the cameras. For the Premier trim, you'll get a front, rear, and surround camera, along with rear cross-traffic alert to aid in parking. Also, by plugging in your phone, Google Maps and Waze will integrate with the infotainment system, giving you onboard navigation, so having a smartphone is definitely recommended if you want to maximize the potential usage of the 10.2-inch touchscreen. At the bottom, you'll find the climate control settings which can either be adjusted by using the touchscreen or by pressing the buttons below the infotainment system. One design element that will take some time to get used to is the center console, as the layout differs greatly from most cars. While fundamentally it's the same as any vehicle, the simplicity is certainly noticeable compared to other Chevrolet models. You'll get two USB inputs, and for the center storage compartment, you'll have enough room for a smartphone. For passengers in the back, there's a deceptive amount of rear leg and headroom for shorter adults. Most compact cars are very tight and cramped, but the Bolt does a great job of utilizing as much room as possible, despite its size, to provide passengers with a comfortable ride. For rear cargo space, you'll get 17 cubic feet of cargo room, which is certainly enough for groceries and daily tasks. All right, so for this portion of the review, I just want to do a very quick overview and my initial thoughts on this Chevy Bolt. Um, stepping in, I felt as though I was sitting in an Apple store. With the 8-inch digital information display in front of me, which we've already gone through, 
and the 10.2 inch touchscreen, which is basically like an Apple iPad. Um, very easy to navigate through, um, very responsive, which is something that I like. Also, you'll get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, along with 4G LTE Wi-Fi. Now with the infotainment package, you're gonna get a seven speaker sound system from Bose, and you're gonna get additional USB inputs for the back. In front of you, you're gonna have a leather wrapped steering wheel that's also heated, and you're gonna have leather heated seats as well. They're unfortunately not power adjustable, but that's due to saving energy and to maximize battery life. And speaking of battery life, the guys at Muzzy Chevrolet have told me that you'll get about 230 miles per range, but customers have been sending in photos and videos that they're getting about 300 miles per range, which is really incredible for a car this price. Um, the one I'm sitting in right now is about $42,000, fully spec'd out. Um, that's really impressive to me. And um, yeah, I mean, to get that amount of range, which is not even advertised, uh, is really impressive. At the end of the day, I really do see why consumers are gravitating towards this rather than Nissan Leaf and the BMW i3. I mean, you know, just going back to the fact that this doesn't really look like an EV. Now it does have EV elements to it. You can tell it's an electric car, but it does fit in with other vehicles. Um, also, just in terms of the value you're getting for the price. Uh, with the 10.2 inch touchscreen display, the leather wrap steering wheel, the heated leather seats, uh, and a potential 300 miles per range, I really do see why consumers are going towards the Bolt. Once again, I'd like to thank Muzzy Chevrolet for allowing me to review the 2018 Chevrolet Bolt. Their link will be in the description below, so you can check out their extensive Chevrolet inventory. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time.